Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Gaslands TV. Uh, for the first episode, I wanted to show you guys what I bought. So I bought a drill. Uh, let me fix that. Yeah, so I bought a drill and uh, I bought some, some drill bits because you, you got to use drill bits to uh, open up your Hot Wheels. I'm going to show you how to do that stuff. I bought these things. They're like screws. I uh, glued them to my tires and uh, painted them with a bit of blood on them so you know they could be used as running over pedestrians or zombies or whatever you could also put them in front of a truck like this um, that's that looks kind of painful and damaging to uh, other vehicles i also went to a Renault depot and i bought these things that i found uh, i don't know what they're called i should look it up but uh, they do gears and armor plating and it's pretty cool then there's uh, these screws that I got. Uh, I think they're too big for closing up the Hot Wheels after you open them. Uh, if anybody knows the good size that I should get to close Hot Wheels, please write it in the comments. Then I also found these handles. These are basically drawer handles for your kitchen cabinets. Uh, I think they're pretty cool, maybe to do some terrain. Uh, maybe some walls, you know, you gotta avoid or whatever. Um, so I bought those. Then at the dollar store, I found these uh, stickers that look like rivets that you could put on your your vehicle. Uh, I mean, if you could buy red red ones, you could use as uh, lights, you know, back lights, brake lights, and stuff like that. Uh, these everybody knows what these are. Basically, they're uh, screws that when you screw into a wall, it stays in the wall. Um, but you could use them as as weapons, maybe. I guess I don't know, some kind of like electric gun or or like a pipe that's coming off from the top of the hood, you know, from your engine and exhaust pipe or like from the back of the car, big exhaust, stuff like that. I don't know. It's pretty cheap. Then uh, I cut up uh, an old uh, credit card that I had and, and I'm basically going to use that to make uh, armor for the windows. And uh, I mean, if you have gift cards that you don't use, I mean, you could use that too. Uh, I bought some glue to glue basically plastic stuff together. It's not very good with metal, so don't use plastic glue on metal. I would use crazy glue on metal. I bought this easy strip paint remover, so if you buy a Hot Wheel that has something on it that you don't like, you could easily remove it with this and, and a Q-tip, uh, the eco option, obviously. And then at Walmart, you know, I found some uh, folk art paint. Uh, I have no idea if this is gonna work or anything. The diamond one is like shiny. Uh, which is uh, pretty cool if you're doing metallic uh, parts on, on a car. Uh, if there's no diamond, then it's probably going to be just a matte or regular color. So it won't have a shine to it. I don't know if Americana is better than folk art, but I guess we'll see in this journey. Uh, I bought also this sealant. It's chalky finish. I have no idea what it's going to give. Subscribe to find out. I bought some paint brushes. I bought some good ones from Citadel, I bought some cheap ones from the dollar store, uh, some thin ones to do some rust, um, so we'll see, we'll see how that comes out. Then I bought a sponge, I got, I got really scammed on this one, this one was really expensive and then I saw it really cheap at the dollar store, but you know, what are you going to do? Live and learn. But uh, yeah, I like the sponge to make some rust and some weathering effects. Then my, uh, my ice cream shop has these things that you could test different ice cream flavors in and uh, I just asked them if I could have some and they gave me like a hundred of these so uh, yeah it's pretty cool I mean it's, it's comfortable and you know you could feel like Bob if you want to this is one of the finds I'm really proud of um, it's the drywall sanding screen uh, you might find these on on Amazon or anywhere basically uh, for construction and it's used a lot in these gas lens uh, cars I really like uh, this one because it has like a, a rust on it, uh, a rust uh, texture on it and it looks really good when it's painted and you, even if you paint some rust on it it's going to look like metallic but you could also get uh, different types of uh, coarseness for these things. Uh, th this is a pack of two that I bought but uh, it's 80 coarse but you can go up to like 120 or, or 30 like there's different different course so you could go choose the one you like these things uh, on Amazon they're just hands 
and uh, yeah that's what they are they hold your miniature up uh, when you're painting so those are pretty helpful and don't forget your safety goggles and your gloves obviously make sure you get the right size of gloves when you're ordering them don't get like tiny if you have big hands so um, I mean if you're painting you don't want to get paint uh, all over your hands then there's these hobby knives uh, really cheap also on Amazon and uh, once you use them you could just unscrew and change the blade that comes with a bunch of blades um, usually when you buy it it comes with a bunch of blades and I like to use them to scratch up windows of cars uh, make them look like they're uh, you know damaged and scratched and everything like old basically uh, what I got in here oh yeah these are tattoos basically uh, temporary tattoos I bought a pack I had no idea what I was gonna get in them but I mean maybe there's something in here I could use it doesn't work on dark cars I suggest you use it on white cars or really light colored cars uh, I tried on a blue car and it didn't come out good at all it, which is okay because it gave it a weathering effect so it wasn't too bad uh, but that blue car was my testing car and I was testing a bunch of stuff on it but sometimes you could get some cool things you know a flower or maybe something to put on a hood um, but yeah see I put it on the sides there and on the hood and it didn't come out really good on on a blue car uh, next one I'm gonna try is gonna be on a, a white car see how that comes out but you know there's butterflies and stuff like that you could use then at the dollar store I found a cutting board uh, it came with a knife which is pretty cool but I actually bought it for the cutting board and this is going to be to separate all my uh, my bits and pieces and like little armor things uh, sponges you're going to need sponges for for painting uh, you know weathering and dust and dirt on your cars and I bought this thing uh, maybe going to be a garage for my cars like a parking you know park all my cars in there the ones that I'm working on that aren't finished yet so I mean they usually fit uh, yeah, there you go. That fits nice and snug. Then there's uh, toothpicks, really cheap, dollar uh, fifty for a bunch. I mean, I use that for painting some rust on my cars. Uh, make sure to check out my videos on that that are gonna come soon. This is a uh, painting or a frame mounting kit. And it comes with like this metal rope that you could use for like I don't know barbed dryer for your uh, terrain or put it on the back of a vehicle like I did over here or on the roof or something of your vehicle and what I really bought this for is for these things right here so this is what hooks on the nail when you're uh, you know putting a frame up or something now imagine that on the front bumper of a car or the back bumper or something um, crazy glue because plastic glue won't cut it you're gonna need super glue uh, you're gonna need an, a deck of Iron Man cards uh, poker cards with Iron Man on them uh, from Civil War Captain America yeah uh, actually you won't need those but if anybody knows me uh, they know I'm an Iron Man fan so I had to buy those then I found this thing this is pretty cool it has uh, two maybe three things that are pretty cool I could use this gun here that's on this this truck I'll just cut it off and there's like a gun over here I mean I paid a dollar fifty for this thing there's a gun over there I could probably use um, this helicopter is gonna be terrain so I'm gonna like smash it up and maybe cut it in half and put it on the floor as terrain or something uh, the scale is not bad uh, but uh, yeah that's gonna be cool and there's a flag you know in case you're gonna play capture the flag or something like that and uh, some turrets on this boat that I could probably put on some of the cars we'll see how that goes and uh, these are some of the things oh one more thing batteries if you have batteries and instead of throwing them uh, why don't why not like just glue them together like so you know you glue them together uh, maybe prime them black and, and with a brush do some lines and you could have like a wall of tires make them look like tires uh, that's really good for terrain you know you take a flat brush make some lines and uh, yeah I'm gonna try doing one of these in uh, one of my next videos so subscribe for that and we'll see how they come out how they turn out to uh, to be instead of buying 
little tires that are can be expensive. You're recycling batteries, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's gonna look good once once I paint it up and everything, like a corner or something. Who knows? We'll see. And since you stayed this long on the video and you're still watching, uh, I got this sand mat. You can buy this on Amazon. I bought a mini one uh, just to try it out, but you could buy a large one if you want. And uh, I'm going to show you what this is. It's pretty cool. It's made for lizards, I guess, for their aquarium. Um, I mean, dragons and those kind of pets that live in, in aquariums that are not aquariums. Terra terrariums? Terrariums? I don't know. Things that don't have water. You know what I mean. Anyways. So you could like use these mats to take really nice pictures of one of your cars. Uh, I mean, some of these rocks are going to fall off the first time you use it. Maybe the couple of times you're going to use it, but I mean, it looks pretty good uh, when you put a car on it. And uh, I mean, if you have some nice terrain, you know, you could add some terrain there on the side. So that's it for my first Gas Lens TV video. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you subscribe and hit the notification bell to see whenever I upload a video. Uh, basically I'm a noob to this whole hobby and uh, you're going to be following me as I progress and as I learn things and as I find things. And if you want to join me on this journey into the hobby, uh, follow the channel, subscribe and uh, write some comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think and where you would like me to go with this channel. What would you like to see? Uh, I already have some videos lined up for the cars that I'm working on right now. I got like five or six cars already completed and I'm going to be putting those videos up. So stay tuned for more.